so far we have discussed what is the curve and what is the simple curve and what is the closed curve and the open curve and we have also discussed that the interior exterior and boundary of the curve and also the polygon and the vertices sides of the polygon and the adjacent sides adjacent vertices of the polygon and also the diagonal of a polygon now let us do a few problems so the first one is classify the following curves as open or closed so when the end points of a curve are not joined together then it is an open curve so when the two end points of a curve are joined together then it is a closed curve so yeah the two end points of this curve are not joined together so this is an open curve so the next one is here also the two end points are not joined so this is also an open curve and the next one here the all the end points are joined so it is a closed curve next one draw rough sketch rough diagrams to illustrate the following open curve and a closed curve so you can draw any open curve so this is an open curve because the two end points of this curve are not joined and the closed curve so we can draw a circle or any polygon with four line segments so this is a closed curve next question draw any polygon and shade its interior so let us draw a polygon with four sides and its interior so this is what its interior now the interior with interior together with its boundary is called the region so that is called polygonal region next question consider the given figure and answer the questions is it a curve yes this is this drawing is drawn without lifting the pencil so it can be considered as a curve so we can write yes it is a curve next is it closed so here the end points of the two end points of this curve are joined together so we can say that it is a closed curve so we can write yes it is closed now let us learn about the angle so what is an angle so if you take the ray oa and the consider another ray ob now these two rays oa and ob have only one end point in common so the join of two rays with a common end point is called an angle so we can define so this angle aob is written as angle aob or angle boa or we can write angle o so but to specify a particular angle so we write this o so where the two end points joined so this you will write as the middle letter so then we can write the definition of a ray the, the the definition of an angle so the join of two rays having a common end point is called a ray
द जॉइन ऑफ टू रेस हैविंग ए कॉमन एंड पॉइंट इज कॉल्ड ए इज कॉल्ड एन एंगल नाउ द एंगल ए वो बी इज फॉर्म बाय द टू रेस वो ए एंड वो बी सो दीज टू आर कॉल्ड साइड्स और आर्म्स ऑफ द एंगल साइड्स और आर्म्स the rays that form an angle the rays that form an angle are called its sides or arms so here the two rays oa and ob are called its sides are arms now vertex of the angle the common end point of two rays that form an angle is called its vertex so here who is the vertex of this angle so the common end point of the two rays that form an angle is called the vertex of the angle so here who is the vertex of the angle so to specify the angle we write the vertex of the angle as the middle letter so we can represent this angle aob as angle boa or also angle o next now if we take any other ray p q r so here the two rays qp and qr so your qp ray and qr ray so these two are the rays so these two rays form the angle so this is these two are called its sides or arms and the common end point of these two rays is q so your q is called its vertex so this angle is denoted as angle p q r angle r q p or simply we can write angle q an angle divides the plane into three parts such that so the three parts are the interior if we consider the angle a o b so it divides the plane into three parts so the three parts are the interior the exterior and on the angle so these are so this is on the angle now if you take any point p so your p is in the interior of the angle and the point q in the exterior of the angle and the point s or pq yes yes is on the angle and even the points a o b are also on the angle so it divides the plane into three regions one is interior and the second is exterior the third one is on the boundary or or we can say that on the angle so interior means inside exterior means outside the angle if you like this video please give a thumbs up
Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.